Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Yes, I would like to, but more specifically, I would like to be flung through the air on a twister because I ain't gotta go over to Zeus's island there. So let's go over and slate it up. And there we go. I think that's the one to go up that way, I think. I think, I think, I think. <laughs> I'm almost positive it is. Yes, it is. Good, good. And now, we can go get that sword forged. We could have done so a while ago, but... Eh, eh, I don't know, it just kind of felt awkward to put this with something else earlier, when it would make more sense in concept, context to be with something else in this part coming up, I guess you could say. So, yeah. Alright, so... We're coming up to Zaus's Island. Are you ready to have a sword forged? Well, you better be. Well, we're not actually gonna see it forged. Well, you know, him finish it, but well, we, I guess we kinda will. But I mean, we won't be able to see the actual process of him doing it. You'll see what I mean here. Hey, how's it going? So, you have found the three pure metals, Link. I'm not surprised. You have always been the true hero, chosen by the Ocean King. Well, let please hand me the pure metals. The Crimsonine, the Azarine, and Aquanine. So shiny. I've never seen metal like this. I bet I can forge a mighty sword with them, but it will take some time. <sighs> blow on it, blow on it, get it hotter, hurry, hurry! The world depends on it! Got anything else to say? For forging a great magical sword, it's not, a, it's not a simple task. Have some patience. Is that all you have to say? Okay. So, um... Now, we gotta wait, and while we wait, we actually gotta do something else, and we're gonna get mail. And that's the thing that we're going to be doing here, because this is actually a part of the story here. So, let's see our mail. It's a letter from Jolene. Yes! <laughs> Should be a good one indeed. Little boy in green! So you got me! It got me good! Humiliation burns hot in my pirate blood! And so my mind is haunted with this one! Searing word! REVENGE! Yes, I demand a rematch to see who's truly the strongest on the sea! I've sharpened my skills since the last clash! I mean, since, since oh, uh, whatever. You, you read it, fine! I am unbeatable! All will fall beneath my blade! Oh yes, somewhere on these vast seas that paths will cross again. If you have any honor at all, you will meet me in Val one last time! The mighty she pilot Jolene. <laughs> I mean, pirate Jolene. <laughs> And that's all it says. A bit disturbing, wasn't it? Were you just challenged to a duel? Get that often? Oh, first threatening letter I've seen. Okay, sign here, sir. Hopefully he doesn't defeat you. I've already got it up here, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> they remembered my signature from the other time, so I'm going to keep it there just to speed things along nicely. All right, let's go and duel. What? We got a letter from Jolene challenging us to a duel. You're not actually going to accept, are you? Eh, no. Yeah, I say all ranters and ravers should be ignored. Let's just take it easy until the Phantom Sword is complete. And, oh, okay, I, <laughs> I figured that would actually, yeah, okay. I figured he's gonna repeat himself. You know, you don't have to respond to a ranting and raving, don't you? She's your crazy friend. Why does Link get sucked in the middle of all this? She can't deal with people who are stronger than she is, that's all. <laughs> people are jealous. They see my handsome face and have to challenge me. They just don't understand that Lineback's true love is peace. What I'm saying is, I avoid a fight whenever and wherever I can. <laughs> There's just something about her that doesn't seem quite right. I can't deal with her anymore, Link. <laughs> There's a part of me that would like to set Jolene straight. And only you can do that, kid, to show her how weak she really is. We gotta show her how crazy she is and restore peace to seas. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Always thinking about yourself. So, what should we do, Link? We can't just ignore her, and it seems like Zalus needs some time. Maybe we should go check things out? Yeah, yeah. I knew you'd say that. Should have said what I knew you'd say. Alright, Crazy Jolene, we're coming for you! Prepare to set sail, kid! So, uh, now Jolene's gonna be in this portion of the sea if she wasn't already. Just because it's quicker to sail to her that way. Uh, Oh, I, I thought she... Oh, what? I thought she's always over here. Well, that's interesting. Well, I guess I gotta go find her then. <laughs> but yeah, I, I absolutely need to find Jolene and have a battle with her to make some progress here. So 
let's flip-flop around the seas and see if we can find her on the seas. Uh, she is not here either, that is okay, let's try the upper right portion! <laughs> I'm just sort of picking random spots here because I don't know exactly where she is. Although, wait, couldn't I just check my sea chart to... Yeah, like if I check the sea chart, couldn't I go through each of these individually? Uh, no, I don't think it's gonna show the ships that are there. Nope, nope, I didn't think so. Okay, just wanted to be sure with that. So, alright, one more to go. Uh, I'm gonna draw this one. I'm not, because I'm not sure which one she'll be at, you know, which half of that portion of the sea she'll be at. So, I'm gonna try this one first. Uh, because she's probably hanging around. She is not here. <laughs> Where is she? I went, I went to each one. Oh, that was terrible. Um, but. But it registered! Yay! <laughs> Okay, Jolene, where are you? Where are you? Maybe I should just cut ahead. You know, it's like she appears at the most inopportune moments, but I can't find her now. <laughs> but I need to find her! I absolutely, positively need to find her! Where is she? <laughs> there she is! Alright, I'm not gonna lose her this time. <laughs> I was a little bit worried for a second that there was something, like, wrong with the emulation or something like that. Because it, she just wasn't turning up, and, you know, she's always turning up all over the place, and... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you when I get there. As a matter of fact, I probably should just do this. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, the idea is just to warp around until you find her, some, you know, appear on, on the map, but that's the first time it took me so long ever to find her, and it feels kind of ridiculous that it took me forever considering that she's always there, as I said. Oh no you don't, not this time, you're not doing that one torpedo. But I will let you come on board and attack me. What the heck? That was not, I did not attack any Squiddy. The closest was an Octorok. <laughs> Ah, oh, I'm happy to see you are well, boy in green. <laughs> you are? I've heard all of what you are trying to accomplish. Ha! Spare me the innocent act! Everyone knows what's going on! Yes, about the monster. Film and the phantom sword that is its vein! You there, wooden box! You better listen up too! Huh? <laughs> I love that. Love that so much. Boy in green, you're attempting something that only a fool would try. Who are you? Who you are trying to save is irrelevant. If you face that monster, your efforts and your life will be wasted. Or will it? That said, if you have no care for your own safety or survival, well then face me, for I have perfected the art of pirate fencing! Hold still for a moment. <laughs> She's faster and more difficult than she was before! But her the, the strategy is basically still the same. Just wait for her to do that charge attack and loop around, and oh, whoa, whoa. Don't do that. Don't do that, Link. I just want you to get out of Oh! Just want you to get out of the way of her attack. Yeah, oh! She's actually a little bit more difficult, yes, but not that much more difficult. I mean, this is still Jolene we're talking about here. <laughs> Aha! Aha! Just like so. Ho, 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 ho. Come on, do it, do it, do it. You can do it. Ah! Stop that. <laughs> just do the charge attack. Work with me here. Charge attack! Charge attack! Go! 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 Everyone wants to see the charge attack! Go! 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 <laughs> Man, this is... It's like everything is going against me today. First, when I got up, I had a... Well, actually, I had a really bad night of sleep. And then when I got up, I seen that my air conditioner is off. Because the water of the humidifier thing was full. And thus I woke up pretty sweaty. So I had to take care of that. And since I woke up late, I had to wait a while to record today's part. Oh, we made some progress! Oh yeah, and I'm not giving up. I'm making a part today. And there's nothing you can do to stop me, Jolene. Or my family. Or my bad sleep schedule. Nothing. Nothing! <laughs> You're still strong, boy in green. I think that what you're attempting to do is crazy, and yet, there's something about your stubborn personality that draws me. The one that captivated me so long ago had the same look in his in his eyes. Hmm. Hmm. Boy in green, speak to the man in the crate for me. 
<laughs> Advise him that he should take notes, for he might learn something. You. You are a fool, Lineback! And she runs, leaving me with yet another sword. <laughs> we must have like ten of those things around here by now. <laughs> Just gonna recover my health from that toughest battle with Jolene, and there we go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Whew, what is that girl's problem? See, this is why I don't understand women. <laughs> hey, Lineback, how exactly do you know that woman? Oh, uh, well, that was a while ago. I was just cruising through these waters. Anyway, I happened to sail by just as their ship was attacked by some by a monster. What can I say? I slammed to the beast with my ship and saved the day. Wow, that's impressive. Well, if I'm being totally honest here, I was just trying to get away, see? <laughs> I sort of lost control of my ship, and it just happened to strike the beast. Things just keep getting better and better. <laughs> so, so after that, Jolene and I traveled together for a time. But pretty soon I realized the two of us were from different worlds. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but she was a lot tougher than I. <laughs> Plus, I just wasn't cut off with a rough and tumble life of a pirate. Yeah, I always preferred the laid back style of just sneaking off a treasure. Anyway, Jolene and I started seeing less and less of each other. I knew I had to end it, and, well, you know. What? Well, I made up with some of her treasure. <laughs> oh, you terrible man! Lineback, how could you? <laughs> anyway, ever since, Julie has been trying to get a revenge on me. <laughs> the thing is, it wasn't even that great of a treasure. I didn't think it was worth so much to follow me around like this. That is one persistent woman, let me tell you. He he's completely oblivious to... <laughs> oh, Lineback, you really are dense, aren't you? <laughs> So, so he, he didn't seem to have any idea why she's so ticked at him. <laughs> well, she seemed to have a thing for him, but he was just basically in it for the adventuring and the treasure, and well, eventually, I guess he got freaked out by her, and then, well, went off with her treasure. <laughs> it's, just, it's just one of the funniest parts of the game, I tell you. <laughs> That, that's a part of why I was so focused on getting all the bits of dialogue from Jolene uh, along the way here, just to lead up to that moment, because it, it's... That is just so hilariously well done, man. <laughs> it, it just cannot be missed in any slightest bit of context. I mean, no, no slightest bit of context can be missed for that. Because it's just too dang good. <laughs> Alright, so you done yet? <laughs> sure looks like it. Yeah, well, it doesn't quite look done. Hmm, interesting. Aha, yes. Yes, that's it. It's complete. It's perfect. Please take it, Link. Woo! The sword blade! But... Apparently you can't handle it if it doesn't have a handle, so okay. <laughs> huh? His sword doesn't have a handle to hold it with. It's still not complete? I cannot call it truly complete without a handle. Take this blade to the Ocean King. He will add the Sand of Hours. Only he can empower the Phantom Sword with the ability to control time. Got it, thank you. Come on, let's hurry up and go to Grandpa Link. Got anything else to say? Go make the Phantom Sword complete, Link. And then defeat Bellum. I wish you luck. We're counting on you. Alrighty, so, time to head back over to Oshu's, back at, yes I did, you actually did, the Phantom Sword is finally complete, what? You wanna go to the old man? Fine, fine, let's set sail already, okay, well we gotta go back there anyway, because we know that there's more to the Temple of the Ocean King, and you must know that, so, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, slates, and it's this symbol to go close to Merkay. And we set sail! Well, not quite set sail, we fly through the air with the power of frogs also flying through the air. And route our way to the island. There's also a little something something that I was told about that I forgot to show once I showed uh, the Kukos back at Zaus's island, you know, their ability to hop you over gaps and whatnot. I was gonna show this later on, but I kind of forgot. 
and now I'm gonna show it now that I'm coming back here, because I'm coming back here more... It, it, I should say it's more in my path, so yes, Mercate Highland, I'm gonna grab myself a Kuko from somewhere. Hello, Kuko! Hello, Kuko! Gimme, 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 gimme! Yeah! Now I'll get those rupees. Yes, now down over here, you might have noticed a little platform right there. Get over here and... Hopsy Doodle! <laughs> You can go sit over there and have a good time. If you want to come down, you can, I suppose. But there's a random treasure there. Alrighty. Now, thank you very much for telling me that. But now, <laughs> I'm going to go back over to Ashu's and get that sword finished into the bad boy that it should be. Hey, Ashu's. What's up? Woo! I got it. It's sparkly and new and beautiful, it's polished! Look at that, you can see your face in it. So you were able to get the Sacred Blade forged! Hmm? Yep, yep. Oh, hey, watch it! That thing's sharp! You must guard it well, it is very important. With it, you can make a sword to defeat Bellum. Hand me the Phantom Hourglass Link! And... Ah! Okay. That, uh, that, that works. Hmm. Bellum is the evil that consumes life. He can attack with furious spirits. He can also use the power he stole to deflect attacks. The only item that can slay him is the Phantom Sword. Ooh. And how do you make the Phantom Sword? Well, you combine that special sword blade with the Phantom Hourglass, use polymerization, to form the Phantom Sword! Heck yeah! No Master Sword this game. <laughs> grab it! Grab it! You know you want to, Link! You know you want to! Yeah! Whoa! Yeah! The Phantom Sword is complete! Woo! Got the Sacred Phantom Sword! Oh, there's nothing to tap there. <laughs> it just happens automatically. I should say progresses automatically. This mighty sword has the power to defeat Bellum. Whew. So, are you ready? Rare metals and mystical sands are fused together, and so the Phantom Sword is born. With that, you can defeat Vellum. We are all counting on you, Link. Got anything else to say before I head off to the temple? With the Phantom Sword in your hand, you should be able to defeat Vellum. Every one of us uh, is the same thing. Okay. Oh! Celia! I mean, Sila. What's the matter, Grandpa? Some of your memories are being buried, so you may not know this, but you still have powers yet to discover. As the spirit of courage, you can harness the true power of the hourglass. What powers? I don't remember her thing. Bellum can drain the life from people, as well as their very memories. Your memory was drained when you were attacked. I see. So if you defeat him, I'm sure that you'll regain your memories too. Normally I'd be the one who would help you in your quests, but please forgive me. It's okay. That nasty Bellum doesn't stand a chance against Link. We'll wait quick work of Bellum and return to you safe and sound. Come on, Link, let's go. And so we do. We're counting on you. May fortune favor you both in your hour of need. Alright, so with the Phantom Sword completed, we can make our way over to the temple. And we're going to see another something else that's going to be pretty nice to see. And it's kind of... Real, I guess you could say, of uh, lying back. Here we go. When you get up the stairs, it starts. Oh, what are you doing here? I mean, oh, what are you doing here? That was sealed. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's you. What? There are times I don't be alone too, you know. But look at you, kid. You got the Phantom Sword. That means you can enter the Temple of the Ocean King and beat that beast. That's right. The time has finally come to defeat Bellum and rescue Tetra. Hey, we've come this far, right, guys? If anyone did defeat, defeat him, you're returning to tell the tale. It's you, Link. Go, get Tetra back to normal, and don't get yourself done in. What? Get done in? Link? Don't be ridiculous. He'll defeat Bell, and you'll see. If you're going to be so negative, why don't you just go mop your deck? <laughs> yeah, that's right. All I do around here is mop decks. That's what you think? 
Kid, Adventuring You gave me a taste of what it's like to be a hero. But here we part. It's all up to you now. I'll just be back here mopping the deck. <laughs> hey, what got into you, linebacker? Why are you so serious all of a sudden? Why so serious? I mean... Oh, that's right. Hey, Sila. Huh? What is it? Take care of the kid. You look out for him. Got it? Of course. Leave it to me. He referred to her by her name. Hey, you should actually call me by name. No insults. Hmm. Interesting, no? It seems like during the course of the adventure, they gained respect for each other. Well. And now... The Temple of the Ocean King, the final trip through the place, of which I'm going to begin in the next part. So I hope you enjoy, and I will see you then.